Huzzah for the deliverance! Thanks to you, the castle is finally rid of those Imperial dastards. Oh, what a joy to watch them run! We're finally free! You have my heartfelt thanks. Truly. The Chancellor retreated to his fortress west of the Northern Forest. He'll be begging Regal for help now, so he will. What a piece of filth. Leave his men behind to die in his stead. Say stole the royal sword when he turned tail and ran. The Regellian Imperial household gave us that sword as a sign of friendship. I don't know what use to say has for it. Oh, it's a powerful sword and no lie, but only in the hands of the right wielder. And that wielder isn't him. The Rider's Bane here in the vault makes short work of mounted soldiers. But as it's a lance, only knights and similar classes can wield it. strides by recapturing the castle. But Chancellor Desai, the man who started all this, remains at large, and the Regellian army yet lingers inside our kingdom's borders. To free Zofia, we must find Desai, slay him, and drive Regel back for good. Alm. Yes? You are our commander now. We would hear your opinion on this. Oh, right. My opinion. Um... Well, what are our options? We could be defensive, garrison the castle, and wait for Regal to come to us. Or, we could take the fight to them. The choice is yours. I see. You know, until recently, I'd never set foot outside of Ram Village. This war has been my first glimpse of the kingdom I live in. Unfortunately, I've also seen what it's been reduced to. Needless to say, it's far worse than I'd heard. People are suffering. Even dying. But this war, no matter how terrible, has also taught me something. It taught me that when we stand up and fight, we help those people. I don't want to stop helping them now. I want to press on and make as much of a difference as I can. I know this probably sounds empty, maybe even mad, but I think we should keep fighting until we've taken back all of Zofia. So then, will you stand with me? Will you stand and fight? Hm. What kind of question is that? Of course we will, silly boy. Then it seems the matter is settled. The Deliverance shall march. We will put Desai down and scatter the Regellian army to the four winds. Wow, that gave me goosebumps. 
Not bad, um. Not bad. Were you even listening to a thing he said? Your goosebump giver just declared war on the whole damned empire. I know, but I think it was a nice speech. Wait, he did what? No, no. Come on, this isn't war, Gray. He's just going to kick them out. Right, and then Emperor Rudolph will just send a fruit basket to apologize. Come on, Tobin. You can't be so thick that you don't see what's coming. Hmm. What? Stop staring at me. It's creepy. You knew it would come to this, didn't you? When you agreed to join the Deliverance, I mean. Oh, come now. You're the one who said all those years ago that Alm was different from us. You knew he was going to do something like this one day. <laughs> I'm not a prophet, Tobin. All I meant was that he's different. Well, you were on to something no matter what you meant. Because now we're starting to see that he's much bigger than we are. I'm proud of him. But I'm also going to miss him. Oh, brother. You poor kid, Tobin. He never liked much of anything besides his wine and women. I wager to say looked upon the general as an obstacle of sorts, too. Because after he'd murdered the king's children, he pinned it on Sir Myson. You'd have been daft to believe such a thing, of course. Which is precisely what the king did. Or perhaps he just saw it as an excuse. Regardless, Myson was found guilty and banished. He's lucky he wasn't hanged. They say all of King Lima's children are dead now, so they do. Oh, but I've heard tale that one of them still lives. Her name was Aunties, Princess Aunties. Do you see a bit of gossip that, eh? Story goes, the villa she lived in was set to blaze some ten or so years back. Folks thought she burned to cinders, but you know how tongues like to wag. Could be some brave soul up and saved her. Wonder where she ended up if so. Princess Antis had a brother from a different mom, but they were still close. After that fire at the villa, however, neither body was found. I often dreamed that at least the princess managed to escape somehow. but the balcony is in use. Would you mind coming back a little later? Beg pardon, Commander, but the balcony is in use. Would you mind coming... first time here, so I'll admit to feeling a bit lost. My grandfather, Sir Myson, spoke of it on occasion, but 
Sir Mycin the Zophian General? Uh, yes, that's the one. I'm his grandson, Oh, He lived in this castle long ago, didn't he? Well, yes, but how very odd. I knew the general quite well, and he had neither wife nor child. Huh? I beg your pardon, good sir, but that simply cannot be the case. Alm is most certainly related to... No, I assure you, General Mycin told me himself. I have no family, he said. Clear as day it was. But wait, if I'm not... Pay him no mind, Alm. The old man's probably just confused us all. It was a long time ago. Uh, yes, that must be it. <laughs> hmm, very odd indeed. It's an honor to be fighting alongside Sir Myson's grandson. Laying it on too thick? <laughs> oh dear, I'm told I do that a lot. I suppose I just say what I feel without filtering it first. Python told me I should tone it down because it's rather shameful. But really, what's the harm? The Chancellor retreated to his fortress west of the Northern Forest. He'll be begging Regal for help now, so he will. What a piece of filth. Leave his men behind to die in his stead. Huzzah for the deliverance! Thanks to you, the castle is finally rid of those Imperial dastards. Oh, what a joy to watch them run. We're finally free! You have my heartfelt thanks. Truly. Fernand's behavior shocked you. Unfortunately, many nobles share his disdain for the common folk. Don't mistake me. I respect the aristocracy's contributions to Sophia. The kingdom would not be here today were it not for her nobility. But those same nobles are guilty of denying opportunities to the willing. They hoard their knowledge and rights and opportunities. And this is wrong. I hope that aspect of the world changes once the dust settles from this war. Just in time. Please proceed up these steps. A visitor is waiting for you up on the balcony. A visitor? Who is it? I'm afraid I cannot say. Go on and see for yourself. All right, then.
It's good to see you, boy. Grandfather, what are you doing here? <laughs> I have my reasons. Look how far you've come, Om. You're a man grown now. You've been through quite a bit since leaving the village, haven't you? I suppose. But, Grandfather, I'm sorry I never said goodbye or thanked you for all you did for me. I still feel guilty about that. But I think I made the right choice. I'm the commander of the Deliverance now. And together we've already liberated the southern outpost and this castle. So you see... I didn't come here to pick apart your actions, Om. I came here to ask you a single question. Are you ready? Am I... ready? Indeed. For once you march on Regal, you place yourself in the hands of destiny. You won't be able to stop the events that unfold. No one will wish you well. Many will even try to stop you. Unexpected tragedy is sure to follow. That is the price of what you are about to undertake. <sighs> so I ask again, are you ready to take the lives of others into your hands? Are you ready to shoulder all of their burdens, their desires? And are you ready to fight and bleed until Sophia and all of Valentia is saved? I am. I know I may be in over my head, and I still have much to learn. But when I say I will fight for my kingdom, I will fight for my kingdom. No one will stop me. Nothing will break me. I'll see it through to the very end. Very well. I've seen that look before. Must run in the blood. Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand in time, boy. Say, that reminds me. This old man downstairs was saying some strange things. He told me... Huh? What's that noise? Well, well. The people have gathered to get a look at their new hero. You should go greet them. Whoa. Burn this memory into your heart, boy. These are the people whose burdens you will carry the rest of the way. Remember what lies upon your shoulders. And so it was that Sophia Castle was liberated from Desai's clutches, causing the Sophian people to greet their new hero with raucous cheers. However, what Alm did not and could not know was that his victory here was but the prelude to a longer and far more bitter conflict. I bear ill tidings, Emperor. The rebel army has taken back Sophia Castle. And what of Burkut? Sire, Lord Burkut withdrew and rejoined with the main force. Pathetic. Pathetic. A Regalian knight. The Emperor's sworn defender. Scurrying away like a rat. My Arcanists would never have painted so sorry a picture. Hold your tongue, Master Jedi. Why should I? I merely speak the truth. You said the leader of this deliverance is named Alm, correct? Yes, Emperor. He assumed command after Sir Clive of the Knights of Zophia stepped down. Did he now? 